afternoon, Facebook and social media all together. It's yours truly, Ty Shades, and the black DJ Khaled with a whole lot more talent. If you don't know the man, you're an uneducated person. DJ Needles. Hey, How what's you doing? going on out there? It's going down. What's going on? Thanks for having me, Ty. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, I'm here. He's here in my car. It's been a while since you've been in my car. It's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. Last yeah. time was Miami in under 45 minutes. Many, many, <laughs> many memories in this in this little fast thing, you know? But yeah, definitely, definitely. So, uh, Needles, uh, tell everybody, if, if they don't know, which I'm sure they, they do by no, now know who you are since, I, you know, you're my DJ. Um, tell us, uh, tell the world about you. Wow. That's, come on, that's easy. I love I love being put on the spot, you know what I'm saying? But um been DJing for a little bit over, you know, 15 years. Out here in Palm Beach for eight. Started the Rock the Mic movement. Started Rock the Mic Radio, which Ty did assist me in and is still going to this day. Started Rock the Mic Studio. And we have Rock the Mic events. Okay. Now, now tell us about what is... Uh rock the mic and if you don't know i swear you're just you know people out there if you don't know what rock the mic is you're stupid well rock the mic's been around for a minute you know um going on year five here at uh we're up in um lake worth at propaganda they were um ballsy enough to let me go in there and actually just do my thing and open the doors up and um open it up to the indie, the whole underground scene out here, just to break it wide open. I mean, Palm Beach is really live and it's and it's wavy. It has a whole bunch of talent out here, and I just wanted to be that person to um, be on the forefront to let artists be heard, basically. You know. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now, <clears throat> so it's been five years strong, and and you've come across a lot of people with talent. A lot, well over. Oof, well over a thousand, a thousand artists, easy. It's no, without a, a no-brainer. I mean, it's uh, it's the land of plenty out here in um, Florida, you know. You know, and I and I've been there for for a minute. The Rock the Mic, and, and I've seen a lot of people with no talent. Now, for the, <laughs> for, for the people with no talent, what do you tell them? Because I know you're honest. You, you know, you try to help the artists, but if the talent is not there, what do you tell them? Um, keep your day job, kids. That's that's the biggest thing that anyone could tell you in this industry. It's a greasy, dirty industry, you know? So if you don't have that, um, the thick skin, there's the back door. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And and, and by back, never mind, I won't get into the back door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get into too much elaboration <laughs> with this guy here. All right. But, uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, for the most part, I mean, if you're an up-and-coming artist and... Um, in Palm Beach, I would say to just grind, grind, hit every single platform format that you can get out there and um, get, ex you know, get exposure to your music, you, your face, your brand, your identity, you know, keep your social, your social media presence up heavy, you know, um, download, listen to new cats, listen to people that other artists that are out there, change up your style, change up your genre, do, you know, mingle a little bit, you know. There's a lot of avenues out there you could take with this whole hip hop thing these days. So that's what that that would would be my biggest word of advice is to just you know do you, you know do you. All right. And uh, speaking of doing you, no doubt. I don't know if I worded that right, but <laughs> uh, Web Three. Yes, my partner, one of my. Tell, tell us about Web3, because Web3 is going to be doing an interview too, but give us the uh, the backstory on it. Well, oh, man, let's give you the easiest backstory to it. RIP to my man Epitaph for linking me up with Web3, first and foremost. You know, he was the, he was um, one of the, of the lighting stars that put us together. You know what I'm saying? Um, we met under... Um, some crazy circumstances and next thing you know I'm doing shows with Web3 for the last six to seven years now and um, it's been a phenomenal journey with that guy. That guy is just, he's way out of control. He's full of energetic madness and his um, his skills are just impotent. You know what I'm saying? It's just this infinite things that that man can do where he could go and 
I love doing the whole hip hop rock slash indie underground thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a good look for me. I love the whole Web3 crew and the family and what they do for me and the energy that they bring. And um, they support me 100% in anything that I do, any venture. I want to jump off a bridge. they will probably jump off with me, but... Um, probably tell you date and time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's that guy, you know what I'm saying? He's really gung-ho for the people that are around him. And he's, you know, he does he does him, man. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate people that take that creativity into mind and just doing themselves, you know what I'm saying? No and how they feel. No doubt, no doubt. Big up to Web3, though. Web3. Um, now, the other thing is, I'm hearing a lot of buzz about this group that's been invading Rock the Mic. But I've been seeing a lot of it on Facebook, too. The Hood Hippies. Wow, um, the Hood Hippies, yeah. And Hood Hippies is, is, is consists of quite a few members, you know. But um, the founding members, Vadio and um, Mike Gambo. Vadio, he's up top. He's in, um, I think it's D.C. or Maryland. If I'm not 100% sure. But at D.C. or Maryland area, he's up top. And uh, Mike Gambo's down here heading um, the whole Voltron situation as far as putting all the hood hippies together there's quite a few as long as i'm not the pink ranger i'm happy <laughs> oh wait that's the power rangers <laughs> listen pink is good it's very good you know what i'm saying but yeah man i mean it's it, it, they have a heavy movement i'm not going to get into every single artist there is on the hood hippie but there's a a bunch of them more or less wu-tang chapter goes on true story all right you know cool, so cool. big up to the hood hippies man Okay. You know what I'm saying? I am the official DJ out here in Florida, the Florida chapter. So, big up the Vaddy. Big up the Gam for putting me on. Hood Hippies, you already know what it is, man. Get your merch. Hood Hippies. The Hood Florida. Hippies. Yes. That's right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, now, another thing I was going to ask you was, what's coming in the very near future for DJ Needles? Oh, well, I would say what is what's not gonna be coming is more like it. I mean, of course, we stay on the grind. We we this is what I do, you know. This is what we do. Everyone that's around me, you know, they they have to be on their grind because if not, you just get pushed to the side, you know. Um, There's the back door. Yeah, back door. You know, you become bench warmers, as we would call it, you know. But um, no bench warmers here. Not on my team. Um, we got big things coming up. And I'm always saying we because it is a we thing. You know, I'm not the only one out here that's doing it. You know, there's quite a few different chapters and layers to what it is that goes on out here in, on a Palm Beach scene. But big up to all the artists out here, Ben. You know, and um, we're just I'm just gonna keep it moving forward, and I'm doing bigger and better shows. You know, big up the nasty out there. He's linking me up with a couple of things. You know, we got um, we got Nappy Roots coming, Bone Dugs. You know couple of thing, other things that are being talked about. There's definitely in the works. I don't want to spill the beads anything. When's the next Rock the Mic? So um, people can check it out. The next Rock the Mic that would be if I'm not mistaken, I think it's, I want to say it's August 5th and then August 22nd. August 5th? August 5th would be a Wednesday. The 22nd would be a Friday if I'm not mistaken. But um, it's definitely um, it's going to be going down. We have the Labor Day jump off that's just gonna be ridiculous um mm. that's that all white event all white everything so so me as a black man can i go <laughs> what I I say? but anyway <laughs> like i was saying all white everything you know we're gonna be going it's definitely going down i already have the the line that the lineup is it, it's solid it's, it's damn near sold out and it's still like um months away so look out for that and uh, make sure you check out our Rock the Mic events, man, because um, we're going in, we're going hard, and um, bigger and better things. You know, we got um, we got Foam Flurry coming soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm liking this. Now, this is Car Confessions with Ty. Yes. This is DJ Needles. I'm here. You got to kind of confess something. Oh, goodness gracious. What am I confessing? You can confess I mean, whatever I'm you a, want. I'm, a, I'm pretty much an open book as far as I'm concerned. I you mean, confess whatever you want. Look, Cypher confessed that he cheated at video games when we were kids. Oh. He was a cheater, man. You can't, you can't use that one. 
my life is an open book, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's not really anything that there's not to be said. I mean, just ask a question and I'll give you an answer. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to ask you. He said to confession. Conf confession. You got to confess. How can I confess? That would be leading the witness here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this guy. I confess. I love Florida. How about that? I'm going to retire by 60. <laughs> he loves Florida. Okay. You're originally from? Originally from Jersey, Camden, New Jersey, by way of Boston, Rhode Island. You know what I'm saying? We got Massachusetts, all you massholes out there. How do you like them cars? Yeah, I love the cars <laughs> and the bras, all that good stuff. All right. Needles, yeah. why don't you uh, tell everybody where they can link up with you on social media? Promote all that. All that stuff. All that stuff. Real quick. Um, check out... Um, DJNeedles.com. Check me out at Facebook at um, Needles Pat. They took my Pat Needles account. Um, look me up on uh, look me up at Rock the Mic. Look me at Rock the Mic Studio, Rock the Mic Radio, Rock the Mic Events. Look me up. Check me out. And for all you indie artists out there, if you don't know, now you know. Look, holla at me. If your music is good, I'm gonna put your music on. And if it's great, it ends up in my regular rotation on my radio shows, on every single party and event that I do, and all my special events. Regular rotation. That's right. Regular rotation. Step your game up, artist. It's definitely going down. Ty, appreciate right, you, bro. Man. Thank you very much. All right. Well, See this has soon. been uh, another episode of uh, Car Confessions with Ty. Check it out. Um, you know, just Google Ty Shades. You'll find all that stuff. <laughs> and check it out on tyshades.com. Deuces!